A bunch of actors stuck at home in quarantine present Anton Chekhov's The Seagull, adapted for audio from the translation by Simon Stevens. Act 3. Do you want another slice of toast? No, thank you. You know, what we were talking about before, I don't mind if you use it. No? In your work. Right. Everything I've told you is true. Well, I believe you. If Constantine has seriously hurt himself, I think it would have killed me. Mm Mm-hmm. But he didn't, so it didn't. I'm braver than most people think. I made a decision. I'm going to tear this love out of my heart by the roots. And how are you going to do that? I'm going to get married. Oh, married. Hmm. To who? To Simeon. The school teacher? Mm Mm-hmm. Why? I have lived my whole life loving somebody who never loved me back. Just waiting for the slightest sign. I've had enough of that. I won't marry for love, but at least be a change, won't it? Mm Mm-hmm. Right. And I'll have all sorts of new things to worry about, rather than all the things I worry about now. Shaw vodka? For breakfast? No, no, no. Well, if you're not going to. Don't look so shocked. Women drink an awful lot more than you think they do. People only don't notice because they mostly do it in secret. I just don't lie about it. (laughs) It's true. And only the best stuff. To your health. I hope it's not bad luck to toast with orange juice. I like you. You know what you're not? You're not pretentious is what you're not. I'm gonna miss that. It's a shame you're leaving, really. Well, I'm not the one that wants to go. Then just ask her to stay. Oh, she won't now. Not the way Constantine has been behaving. First he tries to shoot himself. And now everybody's telling me he's going to challenge me to a duel. A duel? Can you imagine? I have no idea what I've done to upset him. All he does is mope around philosophizing about new forms of art. And, uh, and he's very insistent on it. I don't understand. Isn't there room for lots of different types of art? Not really. Old forms and new forms. Why have they got to, you know, fight with each other? He's jealous of you. I sh- shouldn't have said that. It's none of my business. Where would you like the cases, Mr. Trigorin? Oh, just put them by the door with the others. Thank you so much, Jacob. He's not a very clever chap. Uh, Simeon. I mean, not Jacob. But he is a good soul. He's completely broke. And he completely adores me. I feel very sorry for him. And I feel very sorry for his old mother. Really sorry. God. Poor woman. Well, well, let me say this before you go. Hmm? Good luck. I hope your life is full of the best things a life can be full of. Do remember me. You're a good person. I like that you always seem genuinely interested in me and my life. And send me your books, won't you? Oh, and sign them for me, and don't just write, oh, to Masha, all the best, Boris. Write, to Masha, who has no idea where she came from, and no idea where she is going. Bye. Oh, Boris, there you are, here. Heads or tails? Oh, tails. What were you flipping a coin for? I was trying to decide whether or not to become an actress. But it's not giving me the answers I want. I wish someone could just tell me what I should do. 
I think nobody else can make that decision for you. You're going soon, aren't you? We probably won't see each other again. I... Um, I wanted you to have this. It's a little medallion. Oh, what a lovely thing to do. It's a beautiful present. I had your initials engraved on this side, and on the other side, the title of your book. See? Days and Nights. And what does this say beneath it? Page 121, lines 11 and 12. Think about me. Sometimes. Won't you? I don't think I could ever forget you. I always remember you when I saw you on that hot day last week in your beautiful dress, the sunlight in your hair, and that dead bird at your feet. Yes, the seagull. Look, we don't have much time. Before you go, come and find me. Just for a few minutes, not much at all. Find me, please. Nina. I have to go. Thank you, Jacob, darling. If you wouldn't mind just popping the cases by the door. Of course, Madame Irina. Wait for me! Rita! What are you doing? You're not coming into town, surely? And why not? You shouldn't be going anywhere in your state. You should be staying at home. Nonsense, I'm fine. Who was that who just left? Oh, Nina. Pardonnez-moi. We interrupted you. Right, that's the last of it. Everything's packed. I'm exhausted. <gasps> Days and nights. Page 121, lines 11 and 12. Mr. Boris, should I pack the fishing gear? Definitely. I'll need all that. The books I'm not bothered about, you can do whatever you want with them. Okay. Page 121, lines 11 and 12. Irina, are there any of my books here? I think Peter's got some in his study, don't you, Peter? In the corner cupboard. Page 121. Honestly, Peter, you should stay at home. I hate this place on the days you leave. It becomes unbearable. But what are you going to do in town? Nothing. Nothing at all. There's a public opening of the new wing of the town hall. That should be good. Or one or two other similar delights. I just want to leap out of this minnow pond, if only for an hour or two. I'm tired of lying around here like an old cigarette stump. I've ordered the horses to be brought round at one o'clock. We can travel together. Perhaps I could uh, stay with you in town. Now you're being silly. No, no, you must stay here. Don't get bored, don't catch cold. Look after my Constantine. Keep an eye on him. Sort him out for me, will you? <sighs> Look at me. I'm running away. I'll never understand why my boy tried to shoot himself. I think he was jealous of Boris. Sooner I take Boris away from here, the better. I'm not sure what you want me to tell you. There are things, I think. Fairly obvious things, when you think about it. He's a bright young man, and he lives in this hole in the countryside without a penny to his name, or anything to do, or any discernible future. He's ashamed of himself because he's so idle, and he's scared. I'm very, very fond of him, Arena. And I rather think that he's fond of me, too. But he feels redundant in this house. He feels unnecessary. Like it's a drain on the place. It's a very human thing, Pride. Maybe he could join the army. Or maybe you could give him some money. So he can buy some clothes, dress like a normal human being, instead of a... <laughs> Look at him. He's been dragging himself around for the last three years in the same battered old jacket. He hasn't even got a proper coat. <laughs> Probably wouldn't hurt the boy to get out of the house a bit. He could travel, see the world. Wouldn't even cost that much. Well, I might be able to help him get a new suit or something, but travel? It's out of the question. I can't. I can't even really manage the suit at the moment. No, I, I just haven't got the money. <laughs> I haven't. I'm sure you haven't. I, I'm sorry, my love. Don't get cross with me. I believe you. You're, you're a very generous woman with a big, kind heart. <laughs> Look, I, 
I'm being as generous as I can afford to be. And I'd help him myself if I could, but I'm completely broke. Leo takes all my pension and spends it on grass for the cows and horse feed and a strange equipment he needs for the bees. Waste of time. Bees all die, cows all die, and they never let me near the bloody horses. All right, look. I do have some money. I do. I admit. But I have to think about my career, huh? I have to pay for my clothes, my outfits. They've practically bankrupted me. Yes, I know, my dear, and you're very kind, and I respect you deeply. I do. I do. I... Oh, dear. Oh, my head. Sit down. I feel awful. Oh. <gasps> Peachy, help me! Somebody oh. help, please! What is it? What's oh. the matter? Irina? Oh, Constantine, Simeon, oh. it's Petey. He's sick. It's all right. It, it, it's all right, Constantine. It, would you pour me a glass of water? Of course, Uncle. Oh, oh much better. Everything's fine. All over now. <gasps> you don't need to worry, Mother. This happens all the time. It's nothing dangerous. It's just Uncle. It's the way he is now. You should go and have a lie down, Uncle. I will. Just a quick nap. I'm still going into town. No, don't you look at me like that. I'll just have a quick lie down and then I'll go. Simeon, would you pass me my cane, please? Ah, yes. <laughs> you see? Four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening. <laughs> yes, very good. Very good. <laughs> and on its back at night. <laughs> Thank you, Simeon. I can walk by myself. Don't be silly. Now is no time for pride, Peter. Come on. He gave me a terrible fright. Oh, it's this place. The countryside does him no good whatsoever. He gets depressed. You know what you could do? You could have a little explosion of generosity. Give him some money. He could live in the city all the time. I don't have any money. I keep telling people I'm an actress, not a bloody bank. I know, I... I know. <sighs> Mummy. What? Will you change my bandage for me? You do it better than anyone else. Oh, your poor head. Let me get the medicine for you. The doctor's late. Yes, he said he'd be here by ten and it's gone twelve. Hold still. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> you do look funny. You look like you're wearing a turban. <laughs> Somebody delivering to the kitchen yesterday asked what religion you were. <laughs> you don't. It's true. Right. Get that last bit of bandage off. And look at that. The wound's nearly healed. Just a few marks left. Nothing, really. Mm. Let's put some medicine on that. <laughs> ah. Now, you. Mm -hmm. You're not to go around playing bang-bang games with guns after I'm gone. You understand me? I won't. I promise. It was a moment of insanity. I was in despair. I just couldn't stop myself. But I promise you, it won't happen again. Oh, oh your magic hands. You know, I remember oh, years and years ago when you were still working in the city theatre and I was just a little boy. There was, uh, I think this is right, uh, a fight broke out in our back courtyard and there was this woman, she did the laundry on our block and they beat her up so badly. Do you remember? I'm not sure. Oh, it was horrible. They carried her out unconscious and you looked after her. Every day you went to see her, you took her medicine and looked after her children. You gave them their bath. You must remember this. I don't. Now, hold still. I need to put the fresh bandage on. Mm. Mm, ow. I remember there were two ballet dancers who lived on our block. Is that right? They, they used to come drink coffee with you? Now, them I do remember. Oh, they were incredibly religious. I remember, even as a child, thinking that was odd. Turn your head for me, darling. Can I tell you something? Over the past couple of days, i felt as close to you as I did then, and you're the only person I've got now. There's no one else. I... 
I just don't understand why you let that man treat you like that. You don't know what you're talking about, Constantine. You don't know him at all. He is the kindest, most noble... Oh, so noble, in fact, that when he hears that I'm going to challenge him to a duel, he runs away, the coward. You're being ridiculous. It was my idea to leave, not his. He's so noble, in fact, and so honourable that here we are bickering over him while he's probably sitting in the drawing room, laughing his head off at us, or, or out in the garden, broadening Nina's very eager mind. Oh, he's desperate to show her his extraordinary imagination. You love being horrible to me, don't you? Constantine, I respect him. Oh, well, I don't. I respect him, and I would ask you not to speak ill of him in my presence. I don't respect him at all. Oh, I know you think he's some great genius, Mummy, but I'm sorry, I can't lie. You're jealous of him. Ha! Huh. His writing is nauseating. It's often the way people who have no talent but pretend they do spend their lives being snide about people with no pretensions but proper real ability. I have more ability than all of you put together. Get off me! Stop it now! Get off! Don't take your bandage off! Oh, that's the problem with the old guard and the mediocrities and the slaves to convention. You grab your position of power and you hold on to it by, by annihilating anything original because it makes you realise how scared you all are. <gasps> you pretentious little clown. Oh, go back to your theatre, your lovely little theatre. Go back to the ditchwater plays you <gasps> love so much. How dare you? You couldn't even write the trashiest music hall farce, you idle good-for-nothing. Tight-fisted witch. You fucking tramp. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, come on now. Don't cry. You really mustn't. Oh, my baby, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm such a mess. Oh, I'm so sorry, my love. Please, will you accept my apology? Oh, I'm such a terrible mother. You don't know what it's like, Mummy. I've lost everything. Nina doesn't love me. I can't write anymore. <laughs> Everything I ever had no, is gone. No, 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 no despair. This will all pass. Boris is leaving today and Nina will fall back in love with you. Come on, my dear, let's wipe away those tears. There. Come now. Let's be friends again now, shall we? Yes, please, Mummy. And you should talk to Boris. Say, sorry for this silly duel thing. You don't need to fight him, <gasps> do you? No, no, OK. Just, uh, Mummy, I won't fight him, but please don't make me see him. Please, I can't bear it. Is everything all right? Boris. Right, that's it. I'm going. The doctor can sort my bandages out. Did you find the book you were looking for? Oh, yes, days and nights. The horses will be here soon. We should get ready. Now, what was it? Page 121. Lines 11 and 12. Are you all packed? Mm. Boris? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Page 121, lines 11 and 12. If you ever find you have a need of my life, take it. If you ever find you have a need of my life, take it. We should stay one more day. Boris, we can't. Come on. Please. Oh, Boris, my love, I know why you want to stay. I do, but get a grip. It's like you're drunk on her. You really should sober up before you make a fool of yourself. I agree now. Please, I beg you. You are my friend. You are my truest friend, my best friend. You can make one sacrifice for me, can't you? Let me go to her, just tonight. What has she done to you? You're acting like a stupid child. I can't stop thinking about her. I just need one time. I think it, it could be, you know, it could be good for both of us, I think. One sad little night with a country girl. You've no idea what you're talking about. You're right. I don't. It's like I'm sleep talking. I'm here talking to you, but in my mind, all I can think about is her. It's like I'm possessed. Yeah. 
I mean, there is only one way to shake myself away from a spell. No. Please. No. Please, Irene. No, no, no. Please, Irene. I'm a human being, Boris. Come on, you could be so much more. You can't treat me like you this. You could be extraordinary. It's like you're trying to drive me mad. She's the only person I have ever known who has done this to me. She's the only person who has shown me what love might be. Love can be so young and charming and poetic and transformative. You know, she's turned my world into a dream. I, I've never known anything like it. I had no time for it when I was young, when I, when I was scraping around for money, desperate, trying to get into editor's offices. Then as if by magic she has come into my life and it feels like it's what love is meant to be. It's calling me. You've lost your fucking mind. Oh, then leave me. Oh, what is it with you all today? Has everybody got together and agreed to torture me? You just don't get it. You don't understand at all. Is it me? It must be me. Am I that old? Am I that old and ugly that you can look right at me and talk like that about a stupid little girl and not think that it's going to break my heart? Oh, Morris, you poor, stupid idiot. You've gone mad, haven't you, my darling? The most beautiful man I've ever seen. My love for you is the last chapter of my life. Get out of your knees. My love, my joy, my pride, my angel. Oh, Irina, not my belt. If you leave me, even for one hour, I won't survive it. I won't. I'll go mad too. My magical man, my master. Get up. Oh, come on, get up. Someone could come in. Let them. I'm not ashamed by how much I love you. My treasure, Irina. my broken-hearted angel. Irina. You want to do these things, these mad, stupid, crazy things. I won't let. You. Irina, you must. <gasps> no, oh. you're mine. Oh. This face is mine. These eyes are mine. Oh, yes. This beautiful hair is mine. All of you, you are so wise and so brilliant. I'm so talented, the most beautiful writer in the world. You are our only hope. You have such heart and such clarity and such lightness and such humor. Irina. Hey, one word. You can create an entire human life in one detail. You can conjure a universe. It's like, it's like you bring people alive with the words that you write. And every word you write brings such joy. Oh, yes. It is a miracle. Do you think I'm exaggerating? Do you think I'm lying? Look at me. Look at me in the eye. Do I look like a liar? No, 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 no. no. Look at me. I'm the only one, Boris. Yes. I'm the only one telling you the truth. The only one who understands how magnificent you are. My angel. Oh. My magical oh. man. Oh, God. You're coming, aren't you? Yes. You are, aren't you? Oh, God, yes. You'd never leave me, oh, would never. you? never. Never, never. Oh, look at me. Oh. oh. I'm so weak. I'm pathetic. That's right. I can't believe I could ever be attractive to a woman. How could I be? Gosh. Leash me to you. Don't let me take a single step away, please. Of course, if you want to stay, we can stay, or I'll go, and you can come when you're ready. Stay a few days if you want. Come next week. No hurry, is there? Oh, no, 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 no. We'll go together. Okay. Please. 
if that's what you want. We'll go together. Hmm. Where is my notebook? Uh, what are you writing? An expression. I heard this morning. A grove of maiden pines. <laughs> I thought he might use it, you know. One day, you never know. So, onwards. Back at the train station, the train food, and the train beer. And the trains. Leo! Madam Irina, it is my duty to inform you with great sadness that the horses are here. The train leaves at five oh, past two. Oh, very good, Leo. Oh, Irina. Oh, Pauline, darling. Oh, Irina, I'm so glad I caught you before you left. Here, take this basket with you. They're plums. I just picked them from the garden. They're very sweet for the journey. You're very kind, Pauline. Goodbye, my dear. I hope everything was as you hoped it would be. If, if it wasn't, then... Oh, you hope you'll forgive me. Oh, Pauline, let me give you a hug. Mm. Everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. Come on, there's no need to cry. It's just that time passes so quickly. We're getting so old. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. And don't forget your hat, Peter. Thank you, oh, Simeon. Peter, back from your nap. My dear sister... Come on, it's time. Otherwise, no matter what we do, we'll miss the train. I'll see you in the carriage. I'll cut through the fields. It's quicker to the station that way if you're walking. Um, I'll say goodbye to you properly there. All your bags are loaded in the carriage, Madame Irina. Jacob, my good friend, I shall see you next summer as long as we live long enough. Here, something for you to remember me by. Buy yourself something nice. Thank you, Madame. Good luck to you. Have a good journey, Boris. Do send us a letter, Boris. Cheer us all up. Where's Constantine? Tell him I'm leaving. Come on, Irina. Well, I have to say goodbye to You'll him. Be here, madam. You must not miss your train. Well, I don't want to leave without saying goodbye. Irina, you mustn't be late. Well, goodbye to you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, the plums. Jacob, quick. Run back and get the plums. Right away. We mustn't leave without the plums. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Boris? I've forgotten my hat. Uh, it won't take a moment. Oh, Nina. Oh. oh. We're just leaving. I knew I'd see you one more time. Have you seen my hat? I want you to know I've made my mind up. Mm-hmm. About what? I'm going to act. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving my father. I'm leaving here. I'm leaving everything. I'm starting a new life. I'm going to head to the city. We could see each other there. Mm. You know what? When you get there, head to the market by the station. Get a room there. Here. You can contact me here and nobody will know. I've got to hurry now. Oh, just... One more minute. You are so beautiful. I can't believe I get to see you again so soon. These astonishing eyes, this smile, this face. Oh my God. This angel face. My love. You have been listening to Anton Chekhov's The Seagull. Adapted for audio from the translation by Simon Stevens and directed by Joshua Crisp. Irina was played by Norma Cohen. Constantine was played by Joshua Crisp. Boris Trigorin was played by Pasquale Esposito. Nina was played by Amy Sutton. Peter was played by Tom Dusek. Leo and Dr. Hugo Dorn were played by Fraser Blacksland. Pauline was played by Stephanie Ware. Masha was played by Madeline Leslie. Simeon was played by Jamie Sandersfield. And Jacob was played by Alex Kotchakov. This was a quarantine production, made with love and no money. <laughs>